Hey y'all, it's Anime Keyman, and today I'm going to be reacting to Saint Seiya episode 28. And just a heads up, I'm going to start this reaction from the minute and 55 second mark. And it'll be a reaction to its original series with the original audio and, Jap and the English subtitles on Netflix's website. I'm going to start this reaction in one, zero, go. Alright, let's see. Da -na -na -na. I always love the fanfare music. Dragon, a sacrificial blow. Okay, hopefully that doesn't mean anything too terrible for us, and you. I mean, I hope, right? But, you know what to say, though. Sometimes just because you hope for something... D Honestly, he ain't wrong about, the, about that. But still, I'm surprised that leg was holding up, even after kicking that shield multiple times. Dang, it looks badass there, Hercules. Jeez! <laughs> he looks cut! And when I mean cut, I mean like, f completely physically imposing. Gotta admit... What Sinra's trying, it ain't so bad, but I'm pretty sure Olgol, he seems pretty smart, and he probably also knows about their legend, too, about how Hercules defeated Medusa, so. Yeah. What the? Where did all those things come from? The hell? No, no, no. Oh! Jeez! You know, the screen in the back would actually fit, but... Dang, our boy Sinu, every single time he's in a fight, he just bleeds buckets of blood. Dang, that made his real like showing Sinu get fucked up. Because I don't even think in Seiya's major fights he bleeds uh, that much. Yeah. I mean, it's natural that he would know, too, about the legend. Yeah. Yeah, but at least Simrio, he's realized it. Hopefully, he's got some kind of trump card that he can use. Okay, that is pretty cool. I was gonna say closing the eyes, but hey, a blindfold will prevent someone from their eyes being exposed to the shield by, say, coincidental contact in a fight. Yo, that looks way too cool. <laughs> that looks like a nice water painting effect there from Toei. Whoa! Oh my. Oh no, 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 no. Jeez! That's an epic feat of power. And the music's really making it feel tense, too. I'm liking the direction in this episode. Shit, worst part is he's losing a lot of blood, too. So that might even slow down his movements. Oh. Yes! <laughs> I've actually been wondering, where have the Steel Saints been? <laughs> like, seriously. Where the fuck have they been? Have they been watching movies off of a fucking blackluster video or something? 
Smoking pot or what? <laughs> I just love how he bumps him with the fucking car. As if it was like a little kid playing cops and robbers with another kid trying to hit another kid with a plastic car. Wait, when did he find the time to put that vehicle inside of the fucking mountain without anyone noticing, like, Sean, Seiya, Shaina, that other fucking silver, um, silver saint? And I'll go, how? Like, what the fuck? Like, was that already there before the fight started? You know what? I, I think the Silver Saints can actually do this. I mean, we saw them fuck up, help fuck up Babel a few episodes ago. Hmm. Yeah, so they lost a bit of the detail. She had a. Mm. Some of the previous episodes. But she doesn't look ugly drawn though. She looks alright. Just something I've noticed. She wants some super detailed a few episodes to go to. Normal, so. Hmm. I don't know if Tatsumi should be that comfortable though. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, because this thing about it, the Steel Stains could be just trying to have sanctuary in the Bronze Knights wear each other out, and then they can just strike out, they can just strike down the winner that's worn down. Kind of like War of Attrition. Aww, that's sweet. Hell yeah. This. At least we know when it comes Okay, at the very least, I like how that implies the Seal Saints were actually watching the fight from, like, the cover of distance. I like that. It actually shows you their intelligence and IQ. It's pretty cool. No, 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 no. Fuck. Yo, I'll go, he ain't no joke. This dude... He just, he's just come to fuck shit up. Jeez. Ah, oh, I love when Bill's are like, you have zero chance of beating me. That means... That almost always means in an action animes that they put a death lens on themselves. Really? I think Sega has been fighting Algo pretty seriously though, if you ask me. Whoa, wait, what? What is he gonna do with those fingers? Whoa. Oh! I did not like that sound effect. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm assuming it's gonna... Dang, even the Steel Saints are fucking... Mindfuck. The eyes. Jeez, just imagine all the nerves. Since the eyes are near the brain, the... Just the infinite amounts of pain. Oh, no. Okay, I got a salute. That is badass. I mean, I'm, I remember seeing this in the Netflix CG series, but dang, this is way better done here because you can't even see some of the pun punches land on the face hits, making it look more painful. Yo. 
Dude, Sanrio, he's he's a real one, yo. No. Alright, hopefully it's a power up. I hope. Oh. Hell yeah! Fuck him up, Sanrio. Fuck that dude up. Yo! Oh. Yo, that music! Yo, he broke it! <laughs> what the f- Yo! Dang, it went to the show that threw his heart! Yo! <laughs> yes! Yo! Talk about overkill! <laughs> we broke the clock! He made the dude bleed. He hit his heart. <laughs> okay. Just for that scene alone, and for him permanently blinding himself, this episode gets a 10 out of 10, and it's only been 13 minutes. Yo. Aw. That is hella selfless there. But you just gotta think. He permanently lost one of his senses, the sense, one of the senses that he was born with, and it's gone forever. And in that situation, he cares more about his, the well-beings of his friends. That's really sweet. And that tear sequence there, it really gets to me. Oh yeah. This is hella satisfying. Oh, sh Um, the Seal Saints should have probably been attacking that dude. That was stoned while they had the chance. Yo, this motherfucker thinks he can stack... He can win four against one. Oh, that's, that's adorable. That's like... Seeing a fucking chihuahua thinking they can beat a fucking big ass pit bull dog. That shit ain't luckily happening. <laughs> Yo, I almost tempted to have a picture of that yellow dude saying, The future is now, old man. <laughs> I feel like just making like a picture meme of that. Do you think y'all should do that and post it on Instagram just for the lulls? Aww. And the sweet music playing too really makes it heartwarming. And the music. I like that, showing you that he seemingly would sacrifice anything for his friends. Even though that's important, that's the more pressing matter. Alright, at least he lightened in the mood though. Dang, they've been snitching on their own! <laughs> Jeez! Okay, talk about showing off! <laughs> No. Oh yeah, true. If they're not careful, he can get an infection with and where the eye sockets are at. And then he doesn't they don't even have anesthesia. Jeez, how much pain is shooting you in? And I don't even want to imagine it. Ugh. Should I've been hit in the eye before 
with like a paint. The most paint I've ever received in the eye is like hitting, being my, having like a paintball pellet hit my eye and I just barely closed my eyes and that hurt like a, like a motherfucker. I don't even want to imagine permanently losing the eye. Oof. Shit. Damn. I like the contrast of the Steel Saints to use, they're using like futuristic looking tech to train while our warriors, they train the old school method. I like the con contrast. Hmm. Oh, okay, so pretty much just pure tech then. Huh. Okay, that's pretty smart. I'm in a nice plan B. In a way, I kind of like how they get characterization for Saudi's grandfather, showing you that he had all the faith in his granddaughter, but at the same time, he had a plan B there, though, just in case. That's pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Oh, dang this, he's covered all of his bases. That you can even see in those subtle sequences, kiddo's sympathetic side too, and his charismatic side too, trying to motivate the people that worked under him. I'm glad, I'm actually, I'm really glad the guy succeeded then. Aww, she's a, he's really adorable, little Saudi. Oh. <laughs> Jeez! Ultimate grabs! <laughs> Yo, that is cool. Gifferner. Not just a beautiful life. At least for when he was alive, but also Gifferner. Other protectors, that is, that is freaking badass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like I said, it just says it without, without a single care in the war, in the world. That's what we all love them, though, so yeah. Oh.
Okay. That's good, that's good. Oh. Man, you can all tell they all feel just different bouts of pain. Poor say, uh... Fuck, man, the Onion Ninjas. They just showed the fuck up out of fucking nowhere. Oh, man. Oh! Fuck. Fuck. Okay, that episode was depressing. Oh, man. Oh! Oh shit. Oh man. Then it, wow. That Saints Day episode definitely, definitely broke me emotionally. Fuck you. I'm gonna bump, I'm gonna bump this up to an 11 out of 10. Fuck it. It deserves it. It deserves it. Because in that specific episode, we got something that Battle series typically don't give us. They don't give us permanent consequences. And they gave us that. Something that's so rare to see in animes nowadays. I've seen way too many fucking times in animes where a character gets injured. And then just a few episodes later or even in the same freaking episode. It's like, oh, you lost an arm? Don't worry. Regeneration. Oh, you lost a leg? Don't worry. Regeneration. Ah, you blind? Don't worry. We'll have an ability where you can just fucking permanently heal your eye. Oh, Kanji Sensei, you lost an eye? Oh, let me just heal it. Oh, this character lost an arm? Oh, let's just have Orihime heal it. Y like, I see that shit way too many times in action anime. And I like on this one, it fucking had balls to permanently blind a lovable, strong character like Sinju, so. For one, I thought that was great from a narrative standpoint. Mm -hmm. Permanent consequences. Then aside from that, this episode was sad as fuck. It actually made me tear up a bit, so... That's hard to do. I normally don't do that in reaction videos. Shit. Uh, so, that, 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 that's definitely... That was fucking amazing. Um, and then aside from that... I like how it shows you how much Saudi's grandfather went through the ends of the world just making sure everything was all set up for his daughter Saudi by having like the developments of the Steel Saint cloths in secret. That was another glorious sequence too. It shows you like just the attention of Deets and the, even the characters in the series pay attention to. I love that. And at the same time this episode had a lot of plot progression. In this episode, we see the defeat of Algo in this episode, and it was impactful because he did not go down like a bitch. Literally, he had every, everyone, almost everyone was taking this dude on. It took literally the efforts of Sinu, the Steel Saints, to even be able to take that dude on, and that was crazy. So Algo. I'm gonna remember him. His, his shit. This dude, he was fucking badass. Alpha as fuck for a villain. I'm like, jeez. Every scene that he was involved in was just tension filled. And I love it how he went down like a boss. It took a great effort from Sunni just to take him down and kill that dude. Whew. Like, seriously, when he was on the ground, my, part of my, my back of my mouth was like, fuck, just stay down. Just stay down, motherfucker. Don't get back. Don't get the fuck back up. Like, seriously, my mom was thinking for us, like, this dude was gonna fucking resurrect himself somehow. That's how fucking badass Algo was. He had that vibe. So, I like that too, man. Just the, ten just the tension there. Um, from a character standpoint, it was amazing. It shows you Sinio's character development. It shows you that he was willing to sacrifice himself to protect his friends. And I like how when you see everyone's shocked when Sinio's not gonna have his eyesight anymore, you can tell just 
through their expressions, the amount of emotions that they had, would say, you could probably tell deep down he kind of wishes it, he was the one blending, not seeing you, knowing instead of selfishness, where Shani was probably feeling like he wishes he could have done more, and Kyogre and Hiki, they definitely made the face of man wishing they were there. And I like that, how you can even get... You can even, like, get a feel of what the characters feel without them in a monologue in anything. And that's what I really love about this episode, too. Just the animation was well done. Uh, naturally, not as well done as, say, episodes 13 and 26. But dang, it was still pretty high-tier animation quality for the fight scene, specifically. And the voice performances were amazing. Especially seeing use actor and say as actor. My goodness, and Sidney was so bad I didn't even scream. That was fucking epic. When he poked, when he just poked his eyes out, that was that shit was fucking lit, and yeah, overall, love out of ten episode. I literally, the episode ended. I didn't even have to think about it. It's like that. That's how great this episode was, and that's how I know it's love out of ten. When I don't even have to think about rating it, I just fucking give it like that. So yeah, I'd say this is definitely the best Saint Seven episode by far, but on the most emotions. By far. Wow. So yeah, y'all, I'm I'm hyped off for the next few episodes now. <laughs> Holy shit. This is definitely Sensei at its peak. So anyways, y'all, be sure to comment on your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate it, share the video, and I'll see you guys later if you come back full more. Because I'm 99.99% going to react to the next.